Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight and I want to show you how to down patch your game so then that way you can speed run it as quickly as possible. A lot of the speed run tips in glitches or non glitches actually don't work with the latest versions of Hollow Knight. And so I'm going to show you how to down patch it. And actually, we're going to also make it so you can have multiple patches installed. So you're not having to like re download and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're going to go off of these articles here on speedrun.com. They are super helpful. Everything you need to know about speed running is going to be right here. So I'm going to point to some of these resources and I highly suggest you check out the source files for this stuff. So uh, first off, uh, if you want to install multiple patches, step one is to actually go ahead and down patch your game. And so if we click on this link here, it'll take us to here. And so this first article on how to down patch is by Semper. I think that's how you pronounce it. And basically you can down patch to any of these different patches, which is awesome. The only thing is how do we know which one to down patch to? So I recently did a video where I did a reaction to Fireborn and he had an any percent, no major glitches. Really cool. He was number one and he actually has a guide that he did two months ago from here. So if we click into this, if we look at his guide, I mean, he breaks down everything. I mean, this is super detailed. Every little skip, like I can't wait to pour over this, but that's, that's too much for this video. So right now, all we need to know is that we want patch 1.2.2.1. We come back over here to the down patching. We find 1.2.2.1. And now we're going to follow the instructions. And it basically says press win plus R. So the windows button plus R. And that's going to open this little run dialog box. And we're going to put in Steam Nav Console, just like that. Just Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. And we're going to run that. And then we're going to enter one of the following commands into the console, depending on which version of the game you want to get. So right here is the console. And we're going to come over here. And when you do this, do not grab the 1.2.1. You're just going to take everything after the semicolon. Just like that, control C, come back up here, control V, boom. Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure if it was going. So it says it's downloading. There's no indication of how long this is going to take. So you just wait for it to be done. And uh, we'll do some editing magic here. And, and just like that, we are done with the download. So now we have right here is the location of where the file is. So if we go ahead and grab all of this, and then we move to a folder. You're literally just gonna paste it into the top. But if you notice, it's gonna say that this doesn't work. You only wanna grab everything up into here, just like that. You don't want it where it says files and all that other stuff. So that'll go ahead and take you to this, the game that you just downloaded, right? So from here, you're gonna end up copying both of these to another folder. So they suggest if we come over here, now that we have already down patch, we downloaded the down patch, we're going to come over here. And this is where it's going to tell us how to have multiple patches, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a folder called HK game versions, it doesn't have to be this folder, you can call it whatever you want, you can put it wherever you want. But we're going to put it on the desktop, new folder, Hollow Knight game versions, right? So once we have Hollow Knight game versions, we're going to open this up, we are going to copy the Hollow Knight data and the Hollow Knight application, control C, Control V. That's going to paste it right in there. And it doesn't take too long. Hey, look at that. My uh, desktop came back. Cool. Um, so once this is done, we are then going to add this into uh, Steam. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right. So once that is added to Hollow Knight game versions, we will come back over to here. And it just basically says in here, if you're trying to save it as 1.2.2.1, uh, get rid of the periods because that might make it act a little bit funny. So now what we need to do is add a text version of the document and call it Steam App ID. So Control C, we will go over to the, where we saved this stuff to the Hollow Knight Game Versions folder, right click, New, Text Document. Once you have that, Control V, Steam App ID. We're going to open this up and from here it says we need to type in the following number 367520 control c that or just remember it type it in and save it i just hit control s for save and 
I always like to open up stuff whenever I save it just to make sure, yep, the number got saved in there. And from here, the next thing we need to do is actually add it into Steam. So we're going to go to Add Game on the bottom left-hand corner. So from here, Add Game, and then a non-Steam game. So once we do that, we're going to Browse. And from here, you need to browse and get to wherever you save the game. Again, I saved it to the desktop, HK game versions, and we're not going to go to the data. We want right here the hollow underscore night application. And we're going to open, and we are going to add selected programs. So now all we have to do is come over to library, and here we go. We've got Hollow Knight. This is our original game version. And then right here, the Hollow underscore Knight. This is that 1.2.2.1 version that we just saved. This is this other one right here. I uh, I made a mistake in the video earlier. Pretend like it's not there. Anyway, you've got the Hollow Knight, Hollow underscore Knight. All you have to do is right-click it, properties, and you could say this is Hollow Knight uh, downgraded. Or you can save it as uh, 1.2.2.1 or whatever version of the game it is so in that way you know what it is um, and just like that that is everything you need to know to be able to have multiple versions downgraded versions of Hollow Knight as well as the original version so in that way if you want to play the game regular and then later you want to speed run the game and use this version you don't have to like re-download it over and over and over again if you want to know even more about the speed running or you want to learn about modding Hollow Knight or whatever else Leave me a comment down in the descriptions below. I get so many of my video ideas from you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Again, my name is Relia. If you want even more Hollow Knight tips, tricks, and how-to videos, as well as Hollow Knight Silk Song, whenever that comes out, be sure to subscribe, and I'll talk to you again more soon.